Hello everybody, my name is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food. I wish you could be here right now. I just took out a Mississippi roast out of the oven and oh, I could have just tucked right into that. It, it was not made in my new Instant Pot because my new Instant Pot, there seems to be a delay in delivering it. So I had to put it in my little Math at Stewart cast iron um, pot in the... Um, in the oven, but oh god, fall away, oh delicious, moist, <laughs> I can't wait, it's on the schedule for tomorrow night though, however, anyway, the reason I'm here today, of course is for another video, but have you reached the point where your eating is getting a little bit out of control and you're having more food funerals than abstinent days? What is a food funeral? Well, if you were an alcoholic and they were carting you off to rehab, it is almost a tradition that the driver <laughs> stops at, an, at a package store and gets you enough alcohol to get you where you're going. Even those fancy little vans that will pick you up to take you to a fancy detox will also stop because the fear is you could go into a seizure. Now, with us foodies, that's not really um, one of the concerns as we have our food funeral because we're never ever going to overeat again, much less ever, ever, ever eat that item again. And so we have a food funeral that looks like a, um, what would that be, a Greek orgy, um, a Roman orgy with food, and we shove it all in because tomorrow, alas, we are going to knuckle down and we are going to become abstinent with whatever food plan we're on. But sometimes food funerals don't work and you find yourself slipping and sliding after just a few days not understanding the energy it takes to withdraw from garbage and junk food and all the other no-nos that you might be eating. And so you need to have patience with yourself. Days one, two, and three could be a bear. And, and yes, it isn't any different than getting off of a drug because it, the sugars and the carbs are zooming through your body. Your brain is still lit up like fireworks uh, at the Boston Esplanade. And so you have, to, you have to understand that there is a withdrawal to all of that and that um, you will be uncomfortable. It's not fun, it's not pretty, but it will pass. And if you give your food plan a chance, you will see that there is a better alternative to overeating, to binging, to food funerals, and to just getting on with taking care of yourself with your choices, either for weight loss or health or both. And so when you have your food funeral, because you are so sick and tired and disgusted and self-loathing with yourself, the other side of that will be a bit of a, a withdrawal and then you can knuckle down. Now, if what you're doing for a food plan includes a tracker, that is really a good place to be because you're not going to let yourself get all kinds of wrapped around the axle, little slippery, little slidey, little eyeball instead of measuring. You need to really, really buckle down. And all that time and energy you feel in the detoxing of the C-R-A-P, I even hate to say that word, you can be spending weighing and measuring your food and putting it into your tracker. You want to be healthy, you want to be clean with your food, you want to lose weight or maintain whatever weight loss you're at, so why not understand that after the food funeral there's going to be a little paying off the debt. And it's not just on the scale. It's going to be emotionally. It's going to be physically. It's going to be mentally. You will see that it's like, why are these ads this way? Don't they know that I'm trying to give that up? And they keep advertising it? Don't watch football. 
because football is going to be nothing but the CRAP ads, if not the beer ads. And so if you really, really want to clean it up, it is now the end of September. So if you want to clean it up so you're not attacking your kids' Halloween candy or the Halloween candy that you've had to repurchase two or three times just to get to Halloween because you can't resist and you keep picking out your favorite candies, or you want to avoid getting to Thanksgiving with the 5 to 15 that you put on during the holidays already in place because you couldn't wait because you didn't have discipline or structure or consistency, now would be a good time. Now would be an excellent time because when you get to Halloween, you will have had four plus solid weeks of paying attention to what? To you, to your body, to your food plan, to your health. Wouldn't that be a better alternative than having yet another food funeral because you're never, ever, ever going to eat that item again? That's, re that's ludicrous. It's ridiculous. And maybe your track record already shows that. I know that mine did. I know that those days and nights that I would binge on foods that I shouldn't be eating with no calories, no calories, no dense, no nutritional density to them, just filling my emotional needs, my boredom needs, my reckless needs, those things are now a part of, hopefully, my past. And how do I take care of that? I take care of that today. So by taking care of what you're supposed to be eating, tracking it, weighing it, measuring it, planning it, and exactly following what's on the tracker, you are taking care of building. Building the day to day by day to week to month consistency. And that will give you the results. The results aren't going to come from purging. The results aren't going to come from taking um, laxatives. The results aren't going to come from beefing up your workout at the gym. Remember, Weight loss is 80% food, 20% 20% exercise. So you really need to address the food. And you don't need to have another food funeral ever again if you pay attention to yourself. I mean, you know, think of us. Like, they, we, like the saying goes in 12-step programs, I may not be much, but I'm all, a th all I think about. Well, Instead of just thinking, poor me, hideous me, detestable me, why bother me, and just go buy a size larger pants to, to fill up with your food choices, take care of yourself instead. You know that feeling if you've been through the ringer before. You know that feeling five to seven days in where it's like, oh, I am so glad I came back. I am so glad this is working for me. I am so glad I'm being abstinent and paying attention and on the food site websites and podcasts and commenting and on my tracker and really paying attention to my needs. What a great, great feeling. You never have to feel so disgusted with yourself and so self-loathing again. So this has been Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food, and you know you can do it. You know you can. You don't have to have a 3,000 calorie night with your f food funeral. I can't even say that once without slowing down and being intentional. You don't have to have that 3,000 calorie night where you wake up the next day and it's like, oh, I did it again. You don't have to. Okay? Follow, follow what you want to do. Be intentional. Be structured. Have discipline. Be consistent. Trust me, if you do today, what I was suggesting just a few seconds ago, tomorrow will be that much brighter. And it's not what the scale reads. It's taming this up here. It's taming that part of your body that you think a few, a food, there you go, a food funeral will make you feel better. It doesn't. It's temporary. And the hangover lasts a day or two. So you don't have to go there. If you're getting dangerously close to it, Comment below. Contact somebody, not just me, anybody. A Weight Watcher friend, a keto um, website, a Weight Watcher website. Seek out help. Really pay attention. You don't have to go down that road again. This has been Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food. Have a wonderful, abstinent, clean, and tracked 
day. You will be so happy tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye for now.